Okay, today we're going to have another installation video showing you how to install the 2003 through 2007 Cummins ISX Big Boss Intake Manifold. We'll be installing it on this 2004 Volvo with the Cummins ISX. Starting out with the fitting for the compressor intake line, loosen and remove this fitting from the intake manifold. Next, move up to the clamps holding the intake piping coming from the charge air cooler. Loosen clamps and remove the complete pipe assembly. Next, move to the EGR elbow, loosen clamps. From there, move to the four bolts that attach the intake manifold to the manifold elbow going into the side of the engine. With the four bolts removed, lift the intake manifold out of the EGR tube and set aside. The next step is to move the factory components from the stock intake over to the new Big Boss intake manifold, starting with the compressor intake line fitting. When swapping the fitting over, be sure to inspect the O-ring and the threads to make sure everything looks good. We recommend applying a thin layer of anti-seize to the fitting when you thread it into the new Big Boss intake manifold. Next, remove the EGR elbow by removing the two bolts and sliding it out of the intake manifold. With your new PDI Big Boss intake manifold, there will be a new O-ring for the EGR elbow. Install the O-ring and then slide the EGR elbow into the intake. Take note, while swapping the factory components, you need to reinstall the EGR elbow first and then the fitting for the compressor intake line. Remove the plug from the factory intake manifold, inspect the O-ring, and move over to the new intake manifold. Always inspect the factory O-ring for a nice clean seal along the surface. Once the factory components are moved over to the new Big Boss intake manifold, it is ready for reinstallation. Reinstall the new intake manifold, slipping it into the EGR hose first and aligning the holes for the four bolts to be reinstalled. Reinstall the four bolts holding the intake manifold onto the factory elbow. Move the clamp on the EGR hose back into its original location and secure tight. Reattach the fitting on your compressor intake line and secure tight. Be sure to inspect and check seals on all of the charge air cooler intake piping. Reinstall charge air cooler intake piping and tighten all clamps. While replacing your intake manifold, it is a great time to pressure test your charge air cooler system to ensure there are no leaks and you are getting the highest level of efficiency. This completes the installation for your new Big Boss intake manifold. If you have any questions on any of our installation processes, please leave them in the comments below and make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel for future videos. You can find more information on our intake manifolds at pdidiesel.com or give us a call and we will gladly assist you.